Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about the antineoplastic or antineoke set drugs. Antineoplastic are basically those pharmaceutical agents or drugs that are useful in the treatment of different type of cancer and cancer cells like malignancy, tumor, carcinoma, sarcoma, leukemia and neoplasm. Neoplasm is basically the formation of the new and controlled abnormal cells. Cancer, as far as cancer cells are concerned, they are characterized by the abnormal and uncontrolled division of the cell. So, whenever cancer occurs, basically it is the abnormal growth and uncontrolled means it cannot be controlled, its division cannot be controlled normally as the physiological process that occurs inside the human body so due to this as a result different type of tumor cells are produced and these cells may be invade into the uh, other cells most of time the cancer cells that are produced from the organs or their primary organ are known as the primary tumor so they are, can be carried out from that organ to other organ by the blood and by the lymphatic system. So once the primary tumor reaches an other distant site of organ or other organ, they may again divide and form the secondary tumor. Classification of anti-cancer drug As far as classification of anti-cancer drug is concerned, they can be classified into the different classes on the basis of their chemical classification that is already based on the chemical nucleus like one of the classification parameter is the anti-metabolite among the anti-metabolite there are the different type of anti-cancer drug some one are the pyrimidine analog means they have the pyrimidine ring in their ring uh, nucleus second is the purine analog that are the analog to the purine third are the folate antagonist among the folate antagonist the example is the methotrexate pyrimidine analog the well-known drug is the 5-fluorouracil and 6 mercaptopurine is the example of the purine analog there are the certain type of antibiotic that can be useful in the treatment of cancer the example are the dectinomycin danorovicin hormones Therapy can also be useful in the cancer depending on the type of cancer like a different type of estrogen antagonist, testosterone antagonist and other can be used. The cancer drug can be obtained from the natural sources that is the plant sources or the crude drugs. The example are the vinca alkaloide like uh, vincristine, vinplastine, second is the epiphylotoxin, the example is the etoposide and texans, the example of the docetaxel. There are the alkane, other example of uh, the plant derived agent like alkylating agent. The example are the nitrogenous mustard, nitrosourea, methane sulfonate. There are the different type of immune therapy are the intervino, interferon agents useful in the cancer therapy. Example are the interferon alpha 2a, interferon 2b and other different type of example which are mentioned here. Monoclonal antibiotic like the rituximab and the gemtuzumab can also be useful in the treatment of the cancer. Radiotherapeutic agents are basically those anti-cancer drugs that contain the radioactive nucleoid. So they are basically synthesized in the radio pharmacy. Example are the chromic phosphate, are the phosphorus 32, sodium phosphate, sodium iodide and the other example like the strontium 89 so these different type like chromium phosphate 32 phosphate 32 of sodium phosphate iodine 131 are the different type of radionuclide cytoprotective agents include the mesna me and the dexazoxane miscellaneous agent include the cisplatin and the other imidazole triazine so this was the basic chemical classification of the anti-cancer drug. Now let's check out the general overview of the anti-metabolite cancer or anti-metabolite anti drug. 
anti metabolite anti metabolite as their name is indicating that these are some type of the agents that exist against uh, the metabolites metabolite are the normal cellular precursor molecule that are required by the growth organ of the different type of human cells so anti metabolite are basically the drugs are compound that are closely related in the structure to the normal cellular precursor metabolite but their effect will be to antagonize the effect of the normal cellular metabolite and uh, that's how they are preventing the abnormal growth of the cell they have the basically similarity to the normal cellular metabolite in the basis of their chemical ring nucleus there are the different type of mechanism by which the anti metabolite can act as the cancer chemotherapeutic agent like they can be in interact with the biosynthesis of the nucleic acids nucleic acid are the dna and rna we know that the nucleic acid are one of the essential component of for the cellular growth and the cell division and once they are being inhibited so that's how their abnormal cell division uh, can be prevented the different example of drugs that are uh, useful in the anti metabolite therapy are the pyopurine pyrimidine and the folate antagonist the anti metabolite drug eggs uh, act by different mechanism like they can act as the enzyme inhibition means they will inhibit the enzyme that are required to facilitate the normal cellular metabolite process and they can act at the different sites and the cell division cell growth so basically these are different type of anti metabolite like drug purine pyrimidine and folate are basically administered to the patient in a form of product and product we know that is basically inactive drug molecule and it require activation inside the human body cell so once they are taken by the patient they will be activated inside the body to be converted into the active inhibitor and these basically active inhibitor are the nucleoside and the nucleotide of uh, these different purine pyrimidine anti metabolite so that's how the anti metabolite are basically converted into the transformation product that acts on the different enzyme and the tissue growth the phase of the cell division are the cell cycle on, on which the anti metabolite drug act are the s phase so that's how the biosynthesis of purine pyrimidine and the folate are being inhibited because these purine pyrimidine and folate are the important component of the dna and rna formation anti folate are basically the cofactor molecule that are required for the activation of the different type of enzymes that are required in the biosynthesis of nucleic acid example of anti folate are the def uh, folate cofactor are the dhf that is the dihydrofolate tetrahydrofolate so the basically anti metabolite drug uh, that excess the anti folate are basically inhibiting the growth of these dhf and dhf the classic example of the purine and pyrimidine anti metabolite are the 5 fluorouracil 6 marcaptopurine and the classic anti folate is the methotrexate so this was the general classification and the overview of the anti metabolite drug in the next lecture i will discuss about the different drugs of the anti metabolite so for quiz you may check the description section